So I found this quote online that I kind of liked. It says, great taste must have elegance and a lovely heart to be an excellent woman that it does. Now, we're talking about the attractive things women can do that tell a man you have class. And I'm not going to lie to you, when I was looking up stuff online, you know, I think different people may have different interpretations on what they consider to be classy. All right. But I think that what I'm going to lay out for you today is pretty universal for most people. And at the very least, even if it's not classified as classy, all right, it is still going to be a very attractive trait that will cause a man to view you in high regard in a greater light. All right. So to get right to it, the first attractive thing that tells a man you're classy is that you avoid drama, all right? So here's the thing. Classy women ain't got time for the nonsense, all right? Ain't got time to be pulled into the gutter, dealing with people and, and all their negativity. You, you, you hold yourself in higher regard. You love yourself too much to want to engage in that. And men find it attractive when a woman is not all into the drama because unfortunately, there are women who thrive, well, not thrive, who live for the drama, who are drawn to the drama. And because of that, they constantly bring drama to the man. And that's not what he wants. That's not attractive. That's not endearing. It does not help uh, move the relationship to a better place. So as a woman, and I know a lot of people say, oh, yeah, I'm not with the drama. I'm not into that but aren't very mindful of the little ways they start to go down that rabbit hole, so to speak. Whether it be about too much gossip. Sometimes you may think it's harmless talk, but that harmless talk turns into drama. It's also being too consumed by it. Maybe it's not even real life drama. It's drama on TV where I've seen women that they watch these shows and it infuriates you what you saw on the show and now you're letting that drama consume you. And, and all of that does not play out well. And, and forget about just how the man views it and what's attracted to him. Allowing drama in your life isn't healthy for you. All right? So these tips I'm giving, these signs I'm going to give, think about how it's important for you first. All right? And the life that you want to live and the environment that you want to create. So learn how to recognize drama in advance. Okay. So for example, I'm just going to use something that I do. I don't argue. And when I say I don't argue, I'm not getting no back and forth yelling all that. No, 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 no. I don't care if it's in real life or on the internet. And the minute I recognize I'm, I have someone in front of me who's not really trying to have a conversation to listen and have a, 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 an adult discussion about whatever it is, then I will not engage and I will exit right away. You know, there's a quote that says, you don't have to invite yourself into every argument that comes your way. You got to be able to see it, step away from it. All right. But then also be mindful of if is what I'm doing or considering doing going to add to the possibility of drama occurring. All right. That's how we help avoid it at all costs. We have to see it in advance because sometimes drama hits you out of nowhere and you get caught up in the moment. And again, it's not good for you. It's not a good reflection of you. And it doesn't speak to class. <laughs> all right. So be very, very mindful of that. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here. And I'll see you there. All right. So now let's keep this moving. And now we are on to number five, the fifth thing that can scare good men off is a bad attitude or just being negative, all right? At the end of the day, men want peace.